This fire kit is the most important piece of gear that I bring outside with me during the winter. It has everything I need to get a fire started right away without any problems. I carry several combustion devices in this pouch. The first and most surefire way to get a fire is a Bic lighter. You're always guaranteed a flame. I also modify it and make it better by adding duct tape around the bottom and jute twine around the top here. Both of these materials can be used as tinder to get a fire start. Second, I have stormproof matches in a pill bottle like this. I have the striker strips here and these are stormproof matches. These matches are usually used as a backup to the Bic lighter. And a backup to both of those is a ferrocerium rod with a striker. The ferrocerium rod will throw really hot sparks on any materials and would be able to get a fire going pretty simply. This right here is the striker that comes along with it. And all you do is go like this to get sparks to throw. But that's not all I have. I have a pill bottle filled with con balls. These have been dipped in Vaseline to kind of kind of lengthen the time that it's burning. So here are the con balls. Pull one out like this, and then you would just fluff it up just like that. The lighter will get this to catch on fire pretty easily, but the ferrocerium rod would do it just the same. I have more jute twine as tinder sources and a few sticks of fat wood. Fat wood is resinous wood from a pine tree. The resin is highly flammable, so this makes for very good tinder. That's usually what I carry in my fire kit. This is the most important piece of equipment in my entire loadout for winter. So if you want to get a bag like this to create your own fire kit, visit my spread shop. You'll be able to get one with the same design like this and then build out your own fire kit. It's like negative three degrees Fahrenheit right now, so it's getting really cold. So let's actually get a fire going. It's been a while since I've used this Uberleven stove. It's a small camp stove. Pretty easy to put together. There you go, just like that. We got a ball of jute twine, toss it in. There's some of the fat wood and some kindling. There you go. And we're gonna make it easy by using a lighter. There you go. Ah, there you go. Easy fire. A quick and simple fire. Once this burns down to coals, I'll be able to put that grill back on top and then cook something to eat. I'm gonna throw on some pork shoulder bacon. There you go. Ooh, sticking. <laughs> All right, this is cooked. But it's getting dark and you can't even see me. So I'm gonna see if I can get this fire to go hotter again and get some flames going. There you go. Got some flames. And there you go, I've got some light again. <laughs> but here's my cooked sh bacon shoulder. There you go. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. It's so juicy. There's a smokiness to it because it was cooked over this fire. Yeah, this is really nice. So yeah, that's just a real quick video on what I carry as a fire kit when I'm out and about in winter. This is usually the same fire kit that I carry around during the summer and fall and spring also, but it's 
much more important to have this during the winter because it gets so cold. This heat really helps you out and it also gives you light, gives you the ability to purify and boil water and, and warm yourself, you know. Fire is really important during the winter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.